Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Esther and today I will be showing you how to make this beautiful dog sweater. During the video, I will explain to you how you can make it smaller or bigger. It's very easy to adapt it and I have here the step by step to guide you and how you can make it. Okay, before you begin, you need to measure your dog around the neck, the chest, and then the length of the back. Gia measures uh, the neck 30 centimeters or 11 inches and a half. The length is going to be 34 centimeters or 13 inches. And for this part here, the chest, uh, 44 centimeters or 17 inches. Okay, here is the neck. If you fold it, you will get 11 inches, but remember the crochet is stretched. And if you want this in centimeters, it's 28 centimeters, but it will stretch a little bit. For the chest, it's going to be 17 inches or 44 centimeters and for the length I have a 12 inches and a half but you need you can make it longer by repeating um, this round before you changing the colors okay here is the belly part of the dress And here is the back. Okay, for this uh, sweater, I am using this kind of yarn. It's red hard, soft baby steps. It has five ounces or 256 yards. And it's a number four medium. And the color is aqua. And I will be using white as well, the same brand. And for the hook, I have here a five millimeters crochet hook. Okay, uh, for Gia, I will start by making 44 chains. If you want to make this um, sweater bigger or smaller, it's easy to, uh, to adjust the pattern. Four stitches equals to one inch. It means that you need to make, for example, the neck um, 10 inches and a half. You will be starting by making 40 chains. Okay, for example, you want to make this, uh, if your dog measures uh, 12 inches and a half around the neck, you will start with 48 chains. If the neck measures um, 13 inches and a half, you will start with 52. Or if the neck um, measures 14 inches and a half, you will start it with 56. Or if you are making this for a tiny dog, for example, if your uh, dog's neck measures um, eight inches and a half, you will start with 32 chains for nine inches and a half, 36 chains, and for 10 inches and a half, 40 chains. Okay, but this information is using a five millimeters crochet hook and four ply yarn, and with these uh, measurements for the neck. If you don't want to use a four ply yarn, you want to use uh, like a thicker yarn or maybe a thinner yarn, uh, the formula for the um, pattern is any multiples of two. It means that if you are using a thinner yarn, you're going to be making chains until you get the measurements from the neck first. But it has to be uh, any multiple of two. Okay, we're going to start by making one slip knot here on the hook. 
and we are going to make chains until we have the right amount. I will be making 44 chains for a neck that measures 11 inches and a half. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I have here 44 inches and if you can see if you just place it like this, it's about 10 inches in one quarter. But remember that crochet will stretch, so we will have 11 inches and a half here. The next step is going to make sure these chains are not twisted. And we're going to be making one slip stitch here in the first chain. Okay, uh, we're going to be making two chains, and these two chains uh, are not going to count as a stitch. Okay, and we're going to be taking the bottom loop of the chains. As you can see, the chains has one, two, and one more loop here in the bottom. And this one is the one that we're going to be taking to make the double crochet. For the round to number one, we're going to be making one double crochet in each of the 44 chains, or it depends on how many chains you have. But taking the bottom loop of the chain. Okay, in other words, uh, the chains has, this is the front loop, back loop, and then the bottom loop. And this is the one that we're going to be taking for the first round no. and just continue making one double crochet in each chain around taking the bottom loop of the chain oh, I, I already went shopping just like this um, wait, are you I am finished here for with the first round. We're going to join with a slip stitch here in the first double crochet made. For the next round, we're going to start by making two chains. And I want to show you something. This is how the, the first round, this is the top. And look, this is the bottom of the round. Uh, that's why I, I took the bottom loop of the stitch to have this uh, beautiful edge here. And for the second round, we're going to be making one double crochet in the first stitch. In the next stitch, we're going to be making one front post double crochet. One double crochet in the next stitch. one front post double crochet in the next stitch one double crochet and in the next stitch one front post double crochet one regular double crochet in the next stitch and one front post double crochet in the next stitch for that, you will insert the hook here and just finish the double crochet like this. Just keep repeating this around. We are going to finish uh, the second round making one front post double crochet. Make one slip stitch here on the top of the first double crochet made. Round number three, two chains, and make one regular double crochet in the first double crochet, and one front post double crochet in the next stitch, one normal double crochet in the next stitch, and one front post double crochet in the next stitch, one normal double crochet, and one front post double crochet.
Okay, this is how we're going to be working for the round of number three. Okay, if you want to make this uh, part uh, like wider, you just keep repeating the round of number three. But I will stop right there. Okay, for the round of number four, chain one, go back to the same space and make one single crochet. In the next stitch, we are going to be making one increase. One single crochet in the next stitch. Two single crochets in the next stitch. One single crochet in the next stitch. Two single crochets in the next stitch. This is the sequence for the round to number four, making one single crochet, two single crochets, or one single crochet and one increase. At the end of the round number four, we should have uh, 66 stitches. Well, if you started with uh, 44 stitches, of course. Okay, and I cut the white yarn. I will start um, working with the aqua color. And I, use, I always uh, change my colors like this. When I have this strand of yarn here, I will insert the hook here in the first uh, single crochet. And I will finish the slip stitch with a new color. Just like this. Round to number five, chain two. Uh, remember that the chain two uh, doesn't count as a stitch. Go back to the same space and make one double crochet. And for this round, we are going to be making one double crochet in each stitch around. Just continue making one double crochet in each stitch. To finish, make one slip stitch here on top of the first double crochet made. For the round number six, chain one, and we're going to be making one single crochet in each stitch around. Just continue making one single crochet in each stitch. Make one slip stitch on top of the first single crochet made. For the number num, number seven, start by making two chains. Make one normal double crochet in the first stitch. And for the next stitch, Okay, you gotta be careful. These are the two chains that doesn't count as a stitch and this is the first double crochet. We have this one here. In the next stitch, which is this one, we are going to be making one front post double crochet. Taking the stitch like this. And finish the double crochet. In the next stitch, we're going to skip this one, which is the double crochet here. In the next stitch, make one double crochet normal. Next stitch is going to be one front post double crochet. Next stitch, one normal double crochet. Next stitch, one front post double crochet. Next stitch, one double crochet. And next stitch is one front post double crochet. Next stitch, one do double crochet. In the next stitch, oh, this is where we're working the front post double crochet. one double crochet in the next stitch one front post double crochet in the next stitch and 
Okay, and we are working here, when we are making the front post double crochet, we are making it here on the, around the post of the double crochet, not on the single crochet. And this is how we're going to be working for this round, which is the number seven. I will finish here with one double crochet here. Make one slip stitch here in the on top of the first double crochet made. For the number eight, we're going to start by making one chain. And this round is going to be one single crochet in each stitch. Just make one single crochet here. Just like this. Okay, I am finished here with the number eight. Make one slip stitch. For the next round is going to be the number nine. Start by making two chains. And for this one, uh, okay, for the number seven, we start making one double crochet regular. And now we're going to change that. We're going to start with a front post double crochet. One double crochet in the next stitch. And one front double front double post uh, double crochet in the next stitch. One double crochet in the next stitch. One front post double crochet in the next stitch. One regular double crochet in the next stitch. One front double crochet front double crochet here one double crochet and one front post double crochet okay this is how we're going to be working for the round number nine just keep repeating around okay i will finish with a front post double crochet Make one slip stitch here on top of the first double crochet made. And for the round number 10, chain one. And this is the round uh, where we are going to be making one single crochet in each stitch. Round number 10, make one single crochet in each stitch around. Make one slip stitch on top of the single crochet. And for the number 11, we're going to start by making two chains. And for this one, uh, we're going to start by making one normal double crochet. Next stitch is going to be front post double crochet. Next stitch, one regular double crochet. Next stitch, one front double crochet. One double crochet. One front post double crochet. One double crochet. And one front post double crochet. Just keep repeating this around. Okay, for the round number 12, chain one, and this is the round where we're going to be making one single crochet in each stitch. And when you're done, just make one slip stitch in the first single crochet. For the round number 13, chain two, and for this one, we need to start making the front post double crochet. And in the next stitch, you will be making one regular double crochet, one front post double crochet, and one regular double crochet. One front post, and one regular double crochet. 
This is how you're going to be working for the round number 13. I will finish here with one double crochet. And I, as you notice, when we start with the front pole double crochet, you will finish with a double crochet. But if you start with a normal double crochet, you will be finishing with a front pole double crochet. Round number 14, one chain. Make one single crochet in each stitch around. And when you are done, just make one slip stitch here in the first single crochet. Okay, for the round number 15, chain two. And for this one, we're going to start by making one normal double crochet. Next is going to be one front post double crochet. One regular double crochet. And one front post double crochet. And as you can see, we are making the front post double crochet between these two front post double crochets here. Next, one double crochet. And one front post double crochet. Okay, just keep repeating this around. Okay, uh, for the round number 16, we are going to form the pose. So I, I have here my slip stitch and I will count on until I have 22 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. Uh, and for this one is the round which uh, we make one single crochet. So you just make one single crochet in each stitch until we reach the marker. Uh, in total, we are going to have 44 single crochets. But if you're making a, the sweater for a bigger dog, uh, you will have to make more of these rounds before forming the pose. Okay, I have 44 stitches here. And the next thing is we're going to be making 10 chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, next step is we're going to be skipping eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. In the next stitch, this one with the marker, we are going to make one single crochet. And we're going to be making six single crochets here in total. I have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Chain ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And we are going to skip eight, eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. It means that we are going to be making the slip stitch here on top of the first single crochet made. And we form the pause here. Okay, for the next round, chain two. And for this one, we are going to start making one front pause double crochet. Next stitch is going to be one double crochet. One front post double crochet in the next stitch. One double crochet. And one front post double crochet. Okay, just keep repeating this around. When you get to this point, I still have one more uh, regular double crochet here to make. And here in the chains, we are going to be making one double crochet in each chain. We have 10. I have one, two, 
थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन इन टेन डबल क्रोशेट्स Now we have six single crochets. We're going to be making one single, one double crochet in each of these six single crochets here. And we have 10 chains here. So we're going to be making one double crochet in each chain. When you're done, just make one slip stitch on top of the first stitch here. And for the next chain, I mean, for the next round, it's going to be one single crochet in each stitch. Just make one single crochet in each stitch around. Okay, for the number 19, chain two. And for this one, we're going to start by making one normal double crochet here in the first stitch. The next stitch is going to be the front post double crochet. One double crochet and one front post double crochet. And one double crochet. Front post double crochet. Just like this. Okay, when you reach this part after the, um, the regular double crochet, you're going to be making one front post double crochet, one regular double crochet, and one front post double crochet. We are going to finish this round making one front post double crochet. Then make one slip stitch here in the first double crochet made. And for the next round, we're going to be making one single crochet in each stitch. Round 21, I have my two chains here. And for this one, we're going to start by making one front post double crochet and one double crochet in the next stitch one front post double crochet and one double crochet just keep repeating this around for this one we are going to finish with one regular double crochet round 22 is going to be one single crochet in each stitch and when you're done just make one slip stitch here in the first uh, single crochet made Round 23, we are going to start making one regular double crochet. And in the next, we're going to be making one front post double crochet. One regular double crochet, and then one front post double crochet. Okay, at the end of the number 20, um, 23, just cut the yarn. Okay, we're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26 stitches. These are the stitches that we have here in the belly part. And then we are going to start counting stitches here all the way to the... We're, uh, to the first uh, stitch that we have here and we should have 44 stitches and as you can see here this is the last stitch before we skip the eight stitches here so you go there this is the first one 
Okay, but the next uh, row we're going to be starting, okay, just turn the sweater like this. And where you have the marker, which is this one, start by making one single crochet. And just continue making one single crochet all the way to the, to this first stitch that we have here. In total, we will have 44 single crochets. Okay, for the row number 25, start by making chain two and turn. In the first stitch here, it's a normal double crochet. It means that we're going to be making one front post double crochet. In the next stitch, one normal double crochet, one front post double crochet, and one double crochet. Keep repeating across until you reach the last stitch here. And we're going to finish making one normal double crochet here on top of the, the last stitch available. For the row number 26, chain one and turn. Make one single crochet in each stitch across. And when you're done with that, chain two and turn. Row 27, one double crochet. And the next is going to be front post double crochet. One double crochet and front post double crochet. Just keep repeating this across. Okay, I am almost done here and I will finish making a front post double crochet crochet here in the last one just insert your hook here and pull up a loop and finish the double crochet just like this for the next uh, row you're not going to be the 28 chain one and turn make one single crochet in each stitch across and when you're done chain two and turn row 29 we're going to start by making a front post double crochet here Remember that the chain two at the beginning doesn't count as one stitch. So taking the first double crochet, make the front post double crochet. One regular double crochet and one front post double crochet. Just keep repeating this across. We are going to finish uh, this row making one front post double crochet in the last one. Row number 30, chain one and turn, make one single crochet across. Chain two and turn, and for the row number 31, we're going to start by making one double crochet here in the first stitch. One front post double crochet in the next one double crochet in the next and one front post double crochet just keep repeating this across okay uh, row number 32 make one single crochet in each stitch across and when you're done chain two and turn row number 33 make one front post double crochet here in the first stitch and one regular double crochet in the next stitch front post double crochet in the next stitch one regular double crochet in the next stitch just continue repeating this sequence all the way across this is the last row that I did with you and I keep repeating the same sequence until the row number 45. So, but it depends on how long you want the sweater. You're going to keep repeating this row uh, more times or less. And I have here 11 inches and a half. Or if you want centimeters, it's 
29 centimeters. Okay, next uh, we're going to chain one and we are going to be making one round here with single crochet. Just make uh, two single crochets on each of these um, rows. We are not going to be making a single crochet on the row with single crochet. Just where we have the double crochet rows. Just keep repeating this. Okay, when you get to this part here, uh, start making the single crochets in the first single crochet and uh, the first uh, stitch available. And continue making one single crochet here in each of these stitches. And when you get to this point here, we are going to skip these spaces here and and start here on the chain two. This is the turning chain two. Okay, and just continue making two single crochets on each row with the double crochets all the way to the corner. Okay, I have here 22 single crochets, here 26 single crochets, and here 22 single crochets. And I cut this color and I will make uh, the next rounds with white. Look for the first uh, stitch here and finish the slip stitch with a new color. Okay, for this round is going to be the 47. We're going to be making one double crochet in each stitch around. Start with chain two. This doesn't count as a stitch. Go back to the first stitch and make one double crochet. In the next stitch, one double crochet. And just continue making one double crochet all the way to the first corner. In the corners, make a three double crochets. One, two, and three double crochets. Now continue making one uh, double crochet in each stitch and when you get here to the last uh, single crochet make three double crochets into the same space make one slip stitch in the first That's double happy. crochet made and here we have the next corner for the round number 47 chain two and we are going to start by making one front post double crochet. Next stitch, one double crochet. Front post double crochet in the next stitch. And one double crochet in the next stitch. Front post double crochet. And the last stitch is going to be one normal double crochet. Make one slip stitch and we are done okay for the next part i have already one of the poles here i will show you how to make it uh we have eight stitches here and 10 stitches here it makes um 18 stitches but we need to have 22 stitches so it means that we are going to make two in this side and two in this side You can start on any stitch here and just make one single crochet in each stitch. When you get to this part, make two single crochets, one in this loop and one in the next loop here. Now continue making one single crochet in each of the next uh, 10 uh, loops here.
we have one more loop here and now we need to make two stitches here and one more here I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, and twenty-two single crochets. To finish, make one slip stitch here in the first single crochet made, chain two. For the second round, we're going to be making one double crochet in each of these twenty-two single crochets when you are done just make one slip stitch on top of the first double crochet made for the third round and final chain two and for this one we're going to be making one front post double crochet and then one back post double crochet okay front post double crochet back post double crochet in uh, to do the back post, yarn over and go behind the stitches and pass through this one here, pick up a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. Next is front post. And the next one is going to be a back post. front post and back post double crochet and when you are done just make one slip stitch on top of the first stitch made and cut the yarn okay here are the final measurements for the chest or belly it's going to be 17 inches for the neck is 11 inches but remember that this will stretch at least one more inch and for the length it's going to be almost 13 inches 12 inches and a half if you uh, want to make this uh, longer just keep repeating the these rounds before you change the color and this uh, the two last rounds uh, measures one inch so depending on how more uh, longer you need it just make two or four more of these rounds or if you want to make it shorter pues make less of these rounds Thank you so much for watching my videos. Do not forget to subscribe, give us a like, and share on your social media. And I hope the process was clear to you. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you and have a wonderful day.